A lot of the inventory that's out there is going to be a 3-1, folks. But the way Section 8 works, the more children, essentially, the more people, right? The bigger, the bigger the family, the bigger the voucher size, the bigger the money. In a house like this, this age, I'm like 99% sure you rip up that carpet, y'all. And you're going to have some old hardwoods. Just spend the money now, uh, buffing them. Uh, refinishing them, putting a nice poly coat on there so you can keep out the stains. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. If you're looking for Section 8, folks, you want to be in Cleveland, Ohio because the numbers, man. Oh, boy. The numbers is good. 3366 East 145th. 699, okay? But for 699, who would have thought you can get friggin' 1500 bucks a month in rent, right? Sounds crazy in today's day and age that you have a price to rent ratio like that, but it is absolutely the kind of stuff, the kind of numbers we are seeing out here in the Cleveland market when you go section 8 right? One of the cool things about this particular property, right? The reason that you get so much damn rent from this thing is it's a four bedroom house, right? Your typical single family that a lot of people are going after, that's just like a lot of the inventory that's out there is going to be a three one folks. But the way section eight works, the more children, essentially, the more people, right? The bigger, the bigger the family, the bigger the voucher size, the bigger the money, right? So when you guys are targeting your Section 8 rental properties, if you have the opportunity to buy four or five bedroom homes, you should probably hop on that because you're going to get those big old vouchers, right? And the tenants that have those big vouchers, there's fewer of them than people with the smaller vouchers, right? So you really get a lot of demand for these, right? Because there's limited inventory for people of families this size. And it's very, very lucrative for us on the landlord side. Now, this one, current owner, right? Uh, they removed their tenant. So you're going to have to do a unit turn on it, right? Uh, you know, probably going to do cosmetics throughout the whole thing. Probably going to want to get lead certified. You got to do all that jazz, right? You know, it's not like in deplorable condition or anything like that, but you definitely need to run through the whole house. The carpets, you know, that's why I always tell you guys, you don't want to do carpet in Section 8 housing, right? This is what you get, right? You don't want to have to do this every few years when your tenants move out, right? So in a house like this, this age, I'm like 99% sure you rip up that carpet, y'all, and you're going to have some old hardwoods. Just spend the money now uh, buffing them, uh, refinishing them, putting a nice poly coat on there so you can keep out the stains, right? You know, you see all kinds of stains and whatnot on this carpet. Who knows what that is? Is it pee? Maybe. Is it juice? Probably. Probably a combination of both, right? You got a whole bunch of Section 8 rugrats running around. You're going to get juice and piss, man. That's just part of the game, right? Could be animal piss. Could be people piss. The moral of the story is you get that hard wood with the poly, that piss will beat off, and it won't soak into your carpet, meaning you got to replace the carpet or soak into your wood, which would be even worse, right? So stuff like that, run through the rest of the house, update it, paint, fix up the nicks on the walls, fix up the kitchen. You know, you drop, like... 15 20 g's in this sucker whoo you are freaking turnkey mint ready to rock and roll and you're gonna be getting 1500 bucks a month that is government guaranteed folks this is why section 8 is sweet this is why the cleveland market attracts a lot of people because you can not hit numbers like this most anywhere else here in 2024. If that makes sense to you, if that's something you want to do, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If you're out of state, you just want to make an offer, just send us the email. Hey, man, I'm out of state. I want to make an offer. Here's my proof of funds. Here's my pre-approval with my lender. If you don't got a lender, let me know. I'll give you my lenders. We'll help you guys out. Uh, if you're local, and you want to tour the property before you get to the point of making the offer, that's cool too. Uh, hell, if you're out of state, you could tour it too. You got to fly up in here, but we'll get you in the property, guys. Just let me know. Just send us an email, sales at holdwise.com. Let us know if you want to tour. If you don't want to tour, you want to move right to the offer, just let me know. I will discuss it with you, discuss it with the seller, and we will put a deal together. And if you want Holton Wise to manage this bad boy for you, do that renovation for you, get it lead certified, go through the process, put in the tenants, get you that cash flow,
We are a one-stop shop. Uh, more information on all of our property management services are on our website. Stay tuned. Uh, what we're going to do now, uh, don't click off the show just yet. Just stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the raw footage from when my team did the video tour that you've been seeing while I've been talking. Uh, so there's going to be a little bit of extra tidbits, and you'll really get the opportunity uh, to see the house in its entirety, uh, every little nook and cranny. This is especially valuable for those out-of-state investors who can't tour it themselves. Let's go. 3366 East 145th. 145th. Watch your step. There's some dog shit in the yard. You think it's the dogs that are in the back? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, pups. <laughs> don't jump out of the cage. Doggies. I'm not going in there though. Very aggressive looking pit bulls. Regular sized one, probably put it right there. Oh, the bigger ones, the bigger ones, yeah. Yeah, we're straight. I, I was trying to... No, I'm not talking about uh, Vince was asking about the signs. He wasn't sure what size sign we were using. Oh, yeah. My shoe's like on the high. definitely would not want to manage this thing next to this fucking... Fourplex or whatever? We just pulled up and there's like seven fucking eight Escalades just parked out front. You know, you'll have that, dude. And as soon as we show up, they all scatter like fucking roaches. <laughs> but they leave their dogs, dude. Like, very much like to never come back to this place. Fuck this. Oh my goodness, Derek. Just because they got four pit bulls caged did you, did, you, did you go in there and get footage? Dude? No, because the cage is like not closed. Huh. Well, so, <laughs> Anybody in the basement? I don't see any broken windows. This, crap. this door is wide open. Yeah. Ah, uh, goddammit. Hello, anybody down here? Thank no, we're good. I'll come with you, bro. We're good, we're good. Uh, although they were probably down here because this light's on. The stairs are a little rickety too, so just be careful coming back up. <laughs> I think those dogs might have been in this house at some point. It stinks like piss. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> nice hot water tank though. Pretty sure this is supposed to go in here. Nice. Yeah, it's, a, it's always a little concerning when you... I should have fucking... It's gotta be the neighbor. Yeah. Why is my camera facing straight up in the air? 
Can you hold this for a second? My shoe is untied and yeah, it's bugging me. <laughs> Assuming this has to go upstairs, right? Yeah, I think there's only two beds here. No handrail, dude? It's not up to code. Before I go up, anybody here? Yeah, you good. We're here up here. Just, just, just be cool. Oh. I'll be cool. relatively clean too for it to be like a these fan blades look like they're melting or something dude what the fuck is wrong with that it's that humidity dog <laughs> No, fuck that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> if there is somebody here, that's where that's they're at, dude. Yeah. Did you guys do the basement already? Yeah. So we're done? Yep, we're, we're done. done. I, uh, that's how I discovered that the back door was open. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, my. Why would you do that? What if? You know? Could have been a fun ending. What? If someone was in this closet. And that's the tour. Oh my god. It's not funny. That's scary, man. Have you ever had someone pop out of the closet at you? It ain't great. And I'm on this side. You guys can go that way. I'm, I'm stuck over here. I would have pushed him back in. It would have been fine. <sighs> All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.